what up guys uh, my name is Cesar and welcome back to another video so today guys uh, I'm installing a new radiator to my E46 uh, because uh, my fan clutch recently exploded and it broke the ra uh, it broke the radiator as well so I just bought a new radiator and yesterday guys uh, I removed the oil radiator uh, and removed the broken clutch fan as well yeah so today my goal is to install the new radiator and the new fan that i got for the radiator let's see how it goes so guys uh, this is my e46 uh, it looks a lot different compared to my old videos uh, i did a lot of modifications so guys uh, i'll make a separate video explaining all the modifications that i did so stay tuned for that so guys, I need some stuff for the installation. Uh, I need a silicon sealer for the radiator hoses uh, and some distilled water and coolant. Uh, Victoria is currently under lockdown, so all the auto parts stores are closed. They only provide uh, click and collect and deliveries only. So I made an order uh, yesterday. Today morning I received uh, I received a text saying my order is ready to collect. So I'm going to head over to Autobahn and grab my order and come back and start with the installation. So see you guys then. So guys, uh, we got coolant, distilled water and RTV silicon. So let's get started. It's the broken fan clutch. As you guys can see, the fins are broken. This is the damaged radiator. this is the new radiator that I bought it's a Mishimoto performance radiator uh, let me do a quick unboxing for you guys Uh, this is the new radiator it's a fully aluminium radiator I think uh, this one holds more coolant compared to the stock radiator that's why they call it a performance radiator and this one is fully aluminium as you guys can see this one has plastic over here so I think it's, uh, it's definitely better than the stock radiator and there's a nice branding Mishimoto brand logo so guys, uh, this plastic piece that I removed from my old radiator, I need to fix it to the new radiator. So guys, uh, I installed the radiator, now I need to install the expansion tank. 
Uh, it went really well, but I'm not sure about the fitting of the radiator hoses. Because every time you replace the radiator or remove the radiator hoses, uh, you are supposed to uh, replace the O-rings as well to avoid uh, coolant leaks. So, but I didn't replace them because uh, recently I replaced the entire cooling system of my E46. Unfortunately, uh, my fan clutch exploded and now I have to replace that again. Since I replaced them not so long ago, I didn't uh, bother buying new O-rings. Let's hope for the best. I'm pretty sure it's gonna leak, but if it's gonna leak, I have to buy new O-rings and put them in. So now guys, I'm gonna install the uh, expansion tank and fit all the radiator hoses and put some distilled water and start the car and check if it is leaking coolant. I'm pretty sure it will leak because this is my first time uh, replacing a radiator and I think I need to replace the O-rings as well. If it doesn't leak, I'm lucky. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. So guys, uh, I installed the expansion tank and the radiator hoses. Uh, so guys, uh, I just filled uh, distilled water into the radiator and kept the car running for a while and bleeded out the air bubbles. So, so far so good, but I can't check uh, whether if it is leaking or not because uh, when I was filling water, uh, I accidentally spilled some water. So, next thing is to install the electric fan. I also bought an electric fan from Mishimoto. So, I have to install it and do the wiring, which is the hard part. So, guys, uh, this is Dilshan. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> hey, guys. So, this is uh, Dilshan's... Uh, E36. Uh, it has a C3 clutch and a, a short shifted gearbox. Yep. Uh, so the previous one I just replaced it and uh, got BC coil loop, so that's why it's uh, quite low. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And it's wrapped, guys, uh, wrapped in red. It's a convertible, as you guys can see. And. <laughs> It's a really sick car, man. We got the same problem as mine, right? The yeah. coolant. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> BMW standards. And this is his uh, Land Cruiser. I think I'm spending too much time on Marketplace. So here yeah, is the Land Cruiser 4.2 turbo diesel. Uh, so yeah, just, uh, again, just recently bought it. There's nothing much, just the basic stuff, you know. The, the and those stuff, that's it. Looks sick, uh, man. Okay. It's lifted, right? Yeah, it's a two-inch lift, I believe. Yep. We got these aftermarket lights as well. Yeah, yeah. Came with it. We are done for today, and uh, next thing is to install the electric fan which I bought from Mishimoto as well and do the wiring uh, stay tuned for that I will make another video installing uh, the Mishimoto fan and that's it for today guys uh, I'm so happy with the progress but not sure if it is leaking or not if it is leaking I have to like this one for here and fix the leak hopefully it won't leak and so far I'm very happy with the progress guys uh, Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos. I know I didn't upload uh, for a while and I'll see you guys in my next video.